All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brandia, and today I am joined with Luca D once again. And today we are reacting to Simpsons prediction for 2023. Interesting. Yeah, I reckon. Simpsons have predicted quite a lot over the years. Simpsons have predicted quite a lot, like in the past like two years. Like they even predicted COVID in their lifetime, didn't they? They did. They did. I feel like the maker of The Simpsons might be a time traveller. I feel like if if they have anything to do with like the world going on strike or the war in like Ukraine and Russia, then they have, they have predicted correctly in this video. Do you reckon they could have predicted the Russia-Ukraine war? You, you never know. You never know, really. They could be. They could be some type of war that they could have, be that related is to it. Pretty mad. That is pretty mad if it does. So yeah. But let's find out. Or maybe we're gonna we're gonna get some future ones that we don't know yet, but it could happen. Simpsons predictions for 2023 is unbelievable. Ever since mankind first appeared on the Earth, curious individuals have been attempting to divine the future. From the mysterious Baba Vanga to the Mayans, even the Simpsons oh, have made you, prophecies you know that, that woman? give you No? Who, who is that woman? So that woman, basically, I don't know her name, they did just say it, but she basically has predicted many of, like, the biggest things that have happened in the world she predicted 9 11 oh yeah um, she predicted some other stuff but she is kind of mad how much she's predicted and she's like fully blind as well so oh mad it makes it even more like weird so it's like she's seeing these fins in her like brain of like fins happening and she's just predicting it oh like, god that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is quite scary to think that someone like that The series is renowned like for having garnered a reputation yeah. for accurately predicting the future. So without further ado, here are the forecasts I'm for 2023. I'm more of a family guy, Same, yeah. Love family guy. Inflation crisis. This forecast, which is reportedly for the year 2023, may come as a surprise to you. Despite the fact that we are all well aware of the current situation with gas prices and the rising expense of That living, is happening. That is. Homer is told by a guy that anarchy and the end of civilization are coming shortly to a country near you in America. Homer gives his response saying, America can't fail because we're just as strong as ancient Rome. The viewer is presented with a film in which the following statement is made. The contemporary world is an unstoppable march of development. The video continues after Homer says, delicious and then asks, or is it we're slaves to the system? Shut the grocery and we starve. Then cards with phrases like no local farming, peak oil, Ben Bernanke, solar flares, 17 year that cicadas, is kind of mad. That is mad, yeah. troll start to emerge. Homer continues by saying, oh my gosh, this film with no citations and no date has persuaded me beyond any reasonable question. Homer receives reassurance from the man who says to him, I'm the person you want to know when the stuff hits the fan. States Stuff's already China. hitting the fan, to Another be honest. Exactly, like, that is weird. Like that. Yeah, that is actually like quite massive. Like, it's like seeing that commercial like, as well. It's like a particular commercial within a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Matrix, no, like, mate. With um, inflation and that, too much to get into, but like, everything's just going up in price. It is. It's just not everyone can afford anything anymore so it's just impossible to survive yeah the comedy the economy cannot handle it though so yeah it's just gonna fuck everything oh yeah yeah it's not it's not gonna survive it's not gonna, it's be, not gonna be great gonna <laughs> that's why i think zombie apocalypse zombie apocalypse that's yeah my prediction. literally these predictions zombie apocalypse <laughs> you imagine imagine it actually happens good, good thing i'm good at call of duty good thing i'm good at running it's cool just give me a baseball bat i'm <laughs> all good that personal training. all that personal training pays off yeah or just punch them run I'm just gonna like roundhouse Wait, where kick are you the zombies. Run, where are you gonna run? I don't know anywhere that is safe. I could run to like farmland or whatever, high grounds, isn't it? Yeah, but when there's a zombie apocalypse, there ain't gonna be nowhere. Yeah, you just gotta keep running, bro. You just gotta keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the UK. You're gonna have to swim as well to go to another country. You I'm can't a good just swimmer. Stay in the UK. I'm a good swimmer, so. <laughs> well, you reckon you could swim from like the UK over to like France or Germany? No, that's when I build a raft and then like, I make my own like little raft land and then I'll like, be sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Build with <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> exactly. States and China in the year 2023. In one of their episodes, you can hear a news presenter stating, "It is with great regret that I notify you that the United States of America and China have declared war on one another. It is anticipated that a big nuclear oh, this, strike this will arrive on our beaches within oh, the God. next hour." Trump as president of the United States in 2024. The oh, program I know takes this one. its ability to oh, yeah, the yeah. future to a whole new level in the episode Bart to the Future from the year 2000, 
when it names Donald Trump as having served as President of the United States. During the course of the episode, Lisa holds the office of President. We overhear her speaking when she is in the Oval Office and she says, as you are aware, we've inherited quite a financial problem from President Trump. Trump was inaugurated as the 45th President of the United States in the year 2017. Matt. And also very possible in the year 2024. The Simpsons predict public health and safety fears are rising. The information relating to the 2023 Resident Evil forecast made by the cartoon series The Simpsons has recently burst on social media platforms both in the United States and internationally. It is suggested in episode 4 of season 21 of The Simpsons that in the year 2023, the Springfield Burger yeah, restaurant, say. which is where the show's main setting is based, would create a new beef burger. This a new beef, beef burger, burger was made using oh. a totally different way from the traditional one. First, the excellent beef is ground up and mixed with other right. ingredients Milk to now. form feed, which is then given to the cattle. <laughs> Next, the beef that comes from the cattle that provide the same sort of meat throughout their oh. development is used to manufacture hamburger meat. After trying the brand new beef burger, a reporter began to extol its delicious qualities. However, the reporter suddenly went insane and began biting other people. As a result, so the zombie apocalypse quickly descended so, into insanity yeah. and the majority of the population <laughs> is, turned into zombies. From beef After it was Apparently. revealed that Bart was born with antibodies to the virus and the remaining survivors reliant on drinking Bart's bathwater to live, <laughs> the Resident Evil dilemma was resolved by Bart, the son of the Simpsons character Homer Simpson. I actually think it was zombie apocalypse time, happen, you you always I reckon it could happen, you know. Baseball. I don't think it we're that far no off. We're not that... in our lifetime we could see it. Yeah, I think... I'd, what would you reckon, like, how far in the future would you go to say it would happen? What, like, how soon do I reckon it will happen? Yeah, like, what year would you say it would happen? I reckon it could happen in, like, 2030, 2035. I'm going to say around 2040s. I reckon you'll start to see a downfall in, like, 2030, and then by 2035, there'll be, like, a full force mm. zombie apocalypse. I reckon it's going to be some, in like... In fact, you know Connor? Yeah. You know he's been saving up bottle caps because he believes that when the zombie apocalypse hits, that's going to be the currency. Oh, really? So, right. technically speaking, Connor's going to be the richest man in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, he'd be sorted then. He'll be sorted. He'll, we'll, I'll, I'll just go to him then. I was like, I was running to him. <laughs> but I'll protect <laughs> like, me, Connor. Yo, yo Connor, protect me. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, like, he said, like, buy a burger, yeah, that causes zombie apocalypse. I reckon it's going to be some bougie YouTuber that made it. So, like, can I make Prime? Like, someone make some bougie drink, and then we're going to get a zombie apocalypse happen. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> what, just from that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a wild theory. <laughs> Brandon, if I got bit by a zombie, right? Yeah. Would you, would you leave me to turn into a zombie, or would you try and save me? I'll try and save you, but if I don't save you, then I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding you, then. You're going you're gonna to just kill me? You, you know, I wouldn't kill you. I, what I'll do, I would <coughs> chop off your arms and jaw so you can't bite me or grab me. Yeah, but I don't have to bite you to turn you into a zombie. Well, you can't exactly decide your emotional thoughts on that because you don't have no emotion at that point. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm, if I'm a zombie, I'm going to know, bro. I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming for you when I'm a zombie, bro. I'm going to be like, give me Brandinho right now. <laughs> I'm on the hunt. You can run, but you can't hide, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like that'll be amazing. Luke D moves it very like in the zombie apocalypse. Luke D versus a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the future right there. <laughs> Utilizing beef as feed for cattle is something that really happens in the real world. Some individuals have been toying with the concept <clears throat> of using the flesh as feed in order to improve the protein level of the feed in order to make the animals' meat taste better. This is possible since the cost of rearing animals in the West is quite affordable. Prions, which were eventually referred to as mad cow disease, were disseminated across the animal planet as a result oh, of the that. I'm side tackling that cow. That cow would get it, bro. Exactly. Fuck that cow. Ukraine crisis. That's actually happening. Oh. That's actually died. happening. The 19th episode of season nine of The Simpsons had its debut. During the course of the episode, a delegate from each nation attended a United Nations meeting where they discussed yep, says Russia the as well. nation's future intentions. The envoy from Russia said that they wanted the other nations to believe that the Soviet Union was in the past. This remark was made by the Russian representative. After then, there were some shots showing the flag of the Soviet Union being hoisted along with some troops queuing up. That actually did happen as well. There's some tanks going on. True in the year as, as you'd expect, with the war. <laughs> Russia officially took control of Crimea. 
And in February 2022, Russia <coughs> launched an invasion of Ukraine and began conducting airstrikes That's on kind Ukrainian of fucked, residents. That is fucked. The show yeah. for The Simpsons noted that this That's actually fucked. is not comparable to some of the show's trivial predictions, but rather comes from the continuous conflicts that have been present throughout history. Elon Musk. In Treehouse oh. Horror 33, the cartoon family lives in a version of Westworld in which the employees of the Elon amusement Musk. park utilize a cyber truck to transport broken robots to a facility where they may be repaired. Monorail Homer becomes caught in yeah. an endless loop of a catchphrase, and the humanoid robot has to be turned off by flipping a switch on his nose. <laughs> After that, he is hurled into the cargo area of a cyber truck. The next episode, titled Not It, oh, will include more of Tesla's time Mad. spent in Springfield. Well, that's it. The white <laughs> that's it. <laughs> may be seen on screen for a brief period of time during the show's humorous retelling like movie, of Stephen yeah. King's yeah. It, which only lasts a few seconds. In episode 716 of The Simpsons, which airs in December 2021, Fit Fat Tony is revealed to be Maggie's godfather and provides the Simpson family with a lease on a Luxus SUV. Right, big up, big After fat some time Tony. has passed, he right. is seen tinkering with the Falcon doors. There was also a cameo of the Tesla Roadster in an episode of The Simpsons. Well, in the fifth episode of the 30 much? second season. I was about to say, how's that? Like, you know, when he goes like prediction about like being like a grandfather, <laughs> yeah, like, like it literally could be happening to anyone around the world right now, literally like. That happens every day, basically. Yeah, so how's that no, prediction? I'm, I'm not really. Yeah, that ain't really a prediction. That's not really a prediction. Really. That's just normal reality. I do think <laughs> Elon Musk is a robot, the estate that Oh yeah, one percent. Leonardo DiCaprio. Despite the obvious mistake, the automobile was connected to the outlet on the right side of the vehicle. The Model S has also made an appearance in the program. In order to avoid having to pay for the power, Mr. Burns on. owns a Model S, which he charges at the no, residence of Richard Branson. <laughs> Additionally, Krusty the Clown has a Model S. No, he hangs out the window and attacks Homer nonsense. while using autopilot fair as enough. a support. Who among us could ever forget the episode? During the episode from season 26, when Tesla's CEO landed in Homer's garden and the two quickly became friends, he provided his own voiceover for the show. Bart and Lisa decided to take Elon's vehicle for a joyride. So this is on Elon then. To activate FSD, they enter the password Musk rules. Well, I think I'm a massive segment the play, on however, I don't know. Is an expected turn when Mr. Burns makes a plot to murder Musk. Since that it doesn't is even well look like Elon. Like like <laughs> I don't. In the future, we may assume that in 2023, <laughs> when the Cybertruck has been seen driving about in Springfield, it will be available for mass manufacturing in the real world. And that's it. Fair enough. Like I was expecting. It's kind of bizarre. It there were a few bizarre ones, not but the rest of that was like dragged along from Elon Musk, basically. No, it is quite bizarre how much The Simpsons have predicted over the years, like the Ukraine stuff. The Ukraine one was like, the biggest one, I think. It's predicted. That even predicted it. Yeah, that is kind but of scary. Like, the fact that they've predicted a zombie apocalypse, like it makes you think, like it could happen. You know I mean? There's so many kind of like discussions that is happening right now, like about <clears throat> the apocalypse happening. Listen, mark my words: 2030, 2030 to 2035, zombie apocalypse. That's the Lukey D prediction right there. Don't uh, say I didn't warn you. Lukey D predicted the zombie apocalypse for 2030. So if that actually does happen, then Lukey D should be in The Simpsons. Me in The Simpsons. <laughs> Imagine putting like a ca nah, your character in The Simpsons. Nah, brother, like nah, that. Nah. <laughs> I ain't trying to be a yellow Donnie in the Simpsons, bro. Really <laughs> Can you imagine they actually put out a famous YouTuber that they put PewDiePie in Simpsons or something? They've probably considered it. Probably. They've probably considered it, but they haven't, like, you know, gone through with it. Yeah. Um, you didn't even do an outro. I thought you were going to do an outro. No, <laughs> I literally just cut it then, basically. I sat there in silence, bro. I didn't know how to out. On. I didn't know how to even out try it. To be honest, I was literally just sat there in quiet. I was like, "What? How should I out try this then?" That terrified me, bro. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was like, "What?" Yeah, I just, I just, uh, just, I just died. Now you're turned to a zombie right now. Uh, this is the zombie. This is the start of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so I'm, 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 this is the part where I just, my, I run away, and then uh, you, you will never find me. Then uh, I'll run away from you because you, I know you're trying to hunt me down. There's your outro. <laughs>